Hi everybody, it's Janet and welcome back to my channel and happy Monday to you all. I'm glad you're here. Um, today I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas and I had this concept in my head that I was going to go ahead and attempt today and unfortunately it didn't go quite as planned and my idea was I had put some bare satin enamel mixture with the artist loft flow acrylic white um, down on the canvas with a brush and then I decided I was going to fill two cups up and I layered the one here on, on camera and the other one off camera and um, take those two cups and flip them onto the canvas and in hindsight I'm really wishing that I had stopped my total process at this point after I've done the flip cups and just tilted the canvas to see what transpired with the two colors on top. But I didn't. I was stubborn and I was going to see my process that I had in my head all the way through. And I'm really wishing <laughs> that at this point that you see here that I had just stopped adding paint to the canvas and just tilted because I think that looked pretty cool and it probably would have turned out really amazing just the way you see it and all stretched out but no um, I went ahead and poured more of the satin enamel mixture on top in my head I was thinking if I did this and then stretched it all out that I would get some really amazing pearl effect that would be the two different colors that you see underneath well it didn't go according to plan because I think somewhere I didn't get my mixture correct I didn't get the consistency right or I didn't have the right ratios with my mixture I was off and this is what I've learned with this this particular pour um, where I, I was off uh, uh, on I'm not sure but hey you know <laughs> it's just paint and you know better luck next time so I continued to go ahead and tilt and even though it looked cool I ended up with this like weird looking rainbow effect of two colors it looked cool I just wasn't really satisfied so I, I stretched it out some more considering you know or contemplating do I do I scrape this entirely and just start over from scratch or do I just take the paints that I have mixed up and just continue to pour and see what my outcome will be. And so that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm contemplating scrape, pour, scrape, pour. <laughs> and I end up just going ahead and just going for the pour. So um, the end result, I take you in for a close up at the end, turned out to be pretty cool. Um, not a, at all what I had anticipated, but that's okay. Um, and that's the fun process about this. Um, you know, like we all say, it's just paint. We learn as we go. And if I didn't push through, I wouldn't have learned what I learned today. And so to me, it was valuable. And I think the end result was kind of awesome. I did get some effects. The close up that I do at the end, uh, I taped that about an hour or two after the painting sat. So I got some development and some areas just didn't develop and that's okay. But I managed to salvage what I could and I like it. I'm happy with my end result and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this video and I hope you enjoy the end result as well. So again, I am glad you're here. And so with that in mind, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of this. I'm gonna stop talking and just let you watch. And thank you for being here. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>